Good evening, everyone. Welcome. Uh, afternoon, whenever I put this out. Ah, hello. And uh, welcome to another tasting. And uh, we're going to have to move quite quickly because I don't think I've charged up the battery on my camera enough. So, with that in mind, very quickly, the wine we are tasting tonight is a Torrentes from Argentina. Um, it is Argentina's probably premier uh, famous white grape and it is superb, obviously, because that's the point of drinking nice wine. But it is a white wine that does specifically very well there because it thrives in very dry climate, um, in a lot of sunshine and heat, and especially where this is grown in the Uco Valley, it's very high in altitude, so between what 900 and 1200 meters above sea level. It has very warm days, very cool nights, which means this, which is a very floral type of wine um, and very aromatic type of wine, um, it preserves a lot of acidity by having that big diurnal range through the day. And diurnal range is just a fun way of saying hot in the day, cold at night. Beautiful. At least I think it is, but I'm pretty sure it is. Now, this is made by a company called uh, Bodegas uh, Monteviejo. See, you're welcome to the accent again. And if you see a picture there, it's called Festivo Torrentes. And this is made by actually a French company that invested in the Uco Valley. Um, it's the Père, Père Verge family, and they own La, Viet La Violette in Pomerol and Le Gay in Pomerol, two very famous Bordeaux um, houses. And because of that, they've moved to they moved a uh, into production in South America. Um, this is about 15 years ago, and they have been making this outstanding Torrentes. Now I've never tried it, uh, but the idea behind these wines is that they are aromatic, but also very clean and crisp and dry. Okay, so Uco Valley, and I'm just going to pour this out. The Uco Valley is in Mendoza in Argentina. Uh, Mendoza is not in the very north, but just just above the middle line of where Argentina is. And within Mendoza, the Uco Valley sits south of um, the actual city of Mendoza. And if I click my fingers, You should have just seen where the Uco Valley region and Mendoza region is. You should have seen where it sits uh, within this, the, the country. Obviously it has the Andes running through it which gives it the altitude. And it is dry. Lots of really high quality irrigation so you get plenty of good water supply. But they plant a lot of this grape because they pack in a lot of grapes in, and vines in one area to make them have to fight each other so you get really good yield on the on the grape okay uh, and look we're just gonna we're just gonna taste this okay it's warm in the day cool at night uh, full of uh, fresh aromatic flavors and the wine here we go so you look like this I'm just gonna check that we're still recording Yes, we are. We are still recording. So you look, say that, that, then we're going to swell, then we're going to sniff. Oh, wow. And it smells bright, so lots of citrusy, sort of candy peel notes, peach, honey, some blossom in there as well. Maybe a bit of apricot as well. Oh, really intense, loads of, it's like, punched in the face with a flower. Yes, I mean, that was a bit over the top, wasn't it? But you see what I mean? Really, really aromatic. So, actually, a really pleasant, like, saline flavour, um, minerality. Check that one more time. Mm. 
really saline and dry and clean and crisp, lots of acidity. You get plenty of the the sort of apricotty and peach notes, but none of that translates into real sweetness. It is really clean and crisp and dry. Yeah, it's really it's really different. It's really refreshing. It's sadly it's probably more for a for a hotter day if you're just gonna drink it on its own. But it's really I mean it screams for really aromatic and spicy food. And the reason I'm doing this tasting tonight is that a little bit of a little bit of a farewell and we are having dinner with my uh, brother who's moving from the UK to France so we're having a curry tonight and this is going to go great. Lots of spices, ginger, cumin, all these intense flavours, ginger and actually you're getting a little bit of dry ginger there at the very end which is really really like, warming and enjoyable. And this is almost a perfect wine to have with that kind of meal. It's going to not overpower it, but it's not going to be lost against it. It's going to work really well in conjunction. Uh, now, these, this, these, bleh, 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 this wine we actually got from uh, a company called Frywood in Fulham. Uh, they have a shop in Fulham, they have a shop in Wimbledon Village. Uh, I met Ben, the owner, when I was opening a restaurant, and he is a fantastic operator. He's got some amazing wines there. They have a whole range of really interesting, some small, some big uh, producers, and without doubt one of the best little wine shops around um, West London, London in general. You can get it delivered. They have an amazing website. You get case discounts if you buy six bottles or, or 12 bottles, you get a discount. It is well worth it. The investment in some really top quality wines. This is Torrentes. Oh mm, god. And it's only going to be more bright and almost the, fr the, the freshness is, is, is unreal. And that's the wine. Cheers everyone. Oh, and hopefully you get to check out my new decking because this is this is brand new territory. So, here's the new decking. This is the setup. Here you go. Here I am. Look at that. Look at this. Looking so nice. Herb garden looking pretty good. Happy days.